Hello and welcome to the Code Cycler YouTube channel. This is going to be my first video and in it I'm going to attempt to code uh, the arcade game Pong as quickly as possible. Um, my target is 10 minutes, but let's see how we go. Okay, so let's start by drawing a ball. So we need to define the ball X. I should have said as well, I'm working in uh, with JavaScript in the p5.js framework. So it's got some functionality in there to just help out and speed things up a little bit. Uh, it's quite a nice code library and I'll do some videos on that uh, a bit later as well. Uh, but first, right, what am I gonna do? Ellipse, ball X, ball Y. Save it, and there we go. We've got our ball in the center of the screen, which is good. So that's a good start. And now let's try and move it. So, so we need a, a speed in the x direction and a speed in the y direction. Oh, God. Oh. And we're going to create a function called uh, ball move. And we're gonna say ball x plus equals ball speed x, ball y plus equals ball speed. Uh, I can't spell speed y. So that's gonna get our ball to move. So save this and run it in the browser. We need to call it. That'd help. So now we can see it's moving, but it's just going off the screen. So let's get it to bounce. So if ball x less than zero, so just times it by negative one to get it to bounce. Okay. Uh, let's say greater than width y y greater than height okay so now we've got a ball bouncing off the screen, which is good. That's what we want to have. Uh, we want a way to re reset the ball if it falls off. So we'll call it, uh, we'll create a function reset ball, and we'll say uh, ball x equals width divided by two, ball y equals height. divided by two. Okay, so if the ball goes off on the X, what we'll do is we'll call ball, re uh, no, not ball reset, call reset ball. And reset ball. Okay, so now ball resets to the center. And what we'll do is we'll also times the ball speed x negative one so it flips direction each time okay so that's good so now we need to create our players so we'll go var player x var player y var uh, op x our op y and we'll set this to zero this to 250 this to 790 and this to 250 okay and we'll in the draw function we will draw 
uh, rect at player x, player y, 10 wide and 100 long, and rect op x, op y, 10, 100. So we've got our uh, rectangles, our players, and to move the player we want to move use uh sorry to move the players y we want to use the mouse so we'll go player y equals mouse y so that we can see we can move it like this and uh to move the opposition it's slightly harder so we'll create a function move op oops i've got to find that wrong move op and we'll create a variable called middle which will say equals op y plus 100 divided by 2. And so if middle is less than ball y plus 25 uh, op y plus equals four. So if the middle of the paddle is <coughs> below the ball, we want to move it up to meet it, and we want to do the reverse. If that's true and we'll call move op in the draw and we can see it's moving okay so now we want to get the ball to bounce so if ball x less than 10 and ball y greater than player y and ball y less than player y plus 100 100 uh, ball speed x equal negative 1 I uh, made an error there, but we'll work it out in a second. Seven ninety and op y op y plus one hundred. See what I've done. Let's go open the console and check. Um, it always happens. Where's my error? Unexpected and and. In line 32. That's a strange error. Token and and ball x and and ball y greater than ooh I put a comma that's why that's an error. Now let's run this. There we go. And we can see the ball is bouncing off the paddles. So that is good. And we have effectively created Pong now in let's have a look at the timer. Nine minutes thirty seconds. That's good. Uh, we'll just tie it up quickly. So we'll add scores. Uh, so we have our player score, and we'll initialize that at zero. Var op score, and we'll say that is zero. And in our draw function, we'll go 
text. And we'll go player score and its location. So we'll say 100 across, 100 down. And we'll do the same with the opposition score. Op score. Uh, ooh, seven. So we'll put the 700 across and 100 down. We save and run it again. We can't see it, which is probably because I have got uh, the text as black, which isn't very clever. There we go. So we've got the text there and we've got the balls bouncing. So that's good. Now let's change the score. So if it goes off on the player side, we want to increase the opposition score. So we go op score plus plus. And if it goes off on the uh, opposition side, so the right, we want to increase the player score. So player score. Okay, so let's run this again and see if we're able to get a score. Yep, opposition score. And if we play this for a bit, I'm sure the player will score as well. That's quite difficult to beat. <laughs> and that is it for now. That is Pong coded in a round. Uh, ooh, let's have a look. 12 minutes which I'm very pleased with. So thank you very much for watching this. Uh, feel free to copy the code and try it yourself. Uh, let me know what else you'd like to see me try and code. I quite like arcade style games. So uh, any suggestions are more than welcome. I'll learn how to do it and uh, give it a go. And you can watch me do it. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe, and thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.